years ago, um, I did a study in Michigan on an English language test that's given to children in the public schools. And a common comment that we got from the teachers of the children was that the test to them seemed unfair because they thought that their native English speaking children in their class wouldn't do well on the test. What we did with the children is we had all of them come into a, a lab here at, on the Michigan State University campus and we had them come in twice uh, accompanied by their parents and what they did is they took two different tests each of them slightly different in terms of difficulty. And each time they came in, they sat down and took the test, and we videotaped the children taking the test. And right afterwards, um, we told them they did a great job, and we gave them a picture, a blank piece of paper on which to draw a picture. So they drew a picture um, of how they felt during the test, what they thought of the test. After collecting um, their pictures, we coded them in terms of, of uh, positive, neutral and negative feelings of the test and depending on the test type they show some differences and we try to interpret that based on how how they are seeing these tests and how these perceptions are influencing their test performance. After that we interviewed them in their native language to um, ask them questions about the test, what they found difficult, what they found easy, what they liked and what they disliked. And maybe on the back, like you could ask three questions about how the person felt about the test was taking it. Oh, oh, this smile is not good. Why is it not good? So we had all kinds of questions, um, asking generally what they felt about the test, but also to have them direct you the specific parts in the test. Um, to be more specific items of the test that they um, had specific feelings about it. One of the main conclusions of our study was um, through the item analysis. We found that the issue that the teachers had talked about in our previous study, that maybe native English speaking children would not do well on these types of tests of English language ability, turns out that that was true. Because these are all mixed up and they got confused. The children who were native speakers were getting some of the items wrong, while the natives, the learners of English were getting the items right. And we thought we should look at these items in particular to see that why those with the highest level of English um, were getting items wrong. Uh, it's not what one would expect. We hope you enjoy reading our paper. And if you have any questions, please email us. We are really Welcome to have any questions and interact with you. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.